Hi, this is going to be a series of YouTube videos on my plasma CNC table. I spent the last three or four months researching several different types of table, reading all the forums, the websites, etc. I should narrow it down to three different choices, the plasma cam, the Dynatorch Super B and the Torchmate 2. I actually ruled out the Torchmate 2 because it was the only one that was stepper motor driven and I really wanted a servo motor drive the X and Y axis. Eventually I did choose the Dyn Torch. Uh, a couple of reasons, it was slightly cheaper than the plasma cam once you add in all the additional torch height control and the software they wanted to sell. And I also felt that the Dyn Torch was a little bit better built in my opinion. However the plasma cam it was a tough choice and some of the things that you can do it are quite amazing. A guy called Keith Fenner, uh, his links at the bottom there, does amazing things with it. Uh, the crate ships after about three weeks of ordering the unit. It was damaged by FedEx. Thanks FedEx. It does weigh about a thousand pounds in weight and one thing to note is Dan Torch will charge you extra for crating so it's something you need to be aware of. Getting it into the garage was a, a bit of a struggle but I had a few few friends help me get that in and a pallet jack really helped. As you can see inside the crate it's well secured lots of strapping. Uh, the thing hadn't moved at all inside which was great. I also ordered the uh, torch for the uh, Powermax hypertherm that I have and they went ahead and fitted it for me so that, that was really good I didn't expect that. You can see just as we pan to the right that's the grounding cable that they left in the bottom of the, uh, the box for the uh, thing and the control box over in the corner. And here's a close up of the gantry. Again, really happy with the crating. Very well strapped down. Nothing loose to move around. So we've got the sides off. You can see the control box uh, packed underneath. And you can see all the cables, etc. The table is actually not too bad to move around. I really like the cable management. I think those cable trays a really good way to go. I think it's much better than the plasma cam system of just having a, a trailing arm over the top of the table. There was some slight damage on one corner, it was slightly bent down, just cosmetic, I'm happy to live with that. The linear rails, excellent, that's what I was looking, one of the reasons why I bought this unit as opposed to one of the other units. And here are the slats for the cutting table. Again, here's just a, a view of that cable management and the control box is actually fit to the side. It's three bolts that hold that on. I thought it would be more than one control box from what I'd read, but one box is great. Here's a close-up close of one of the tabs that holds the water tray. Uh, that's really going to help to cut down all the, uh, the waste material coming off the cuts. And we're going to fabricate that over the next couple of days. The manual uh, is included in the box comes with all the software and a USB stick ready to install and just a quick pan across the paint finish and the fit and finish the unit is all bolted together as opposed to welded which is again great the table can be expanded uh, to lengthen the size it is a 4x4 four four. Uh, you can see at the bottom there that's the laser locator for lining up the plates and this is a close up of the torch it is a breakaway torch has a sensor in it so if it hits anything then the collision sensor will stop the head and you can see on the right hand side there's a orange cable that's the ohmic lead so if you do have a ohmic sensor on your torch head you can plug it right in there I will be posting lots of updates over the next few days and weeks so if you'd like to see more then please subscribe and thanks very much for watching